they are back at least for some. We're talking about the tussock moth caterpillars. They're being spotted again in Central Florida. They are. Their hair can cause skin irritation and it can be pretty painful of an experience. Our Brevard Bureau Chief Scott Heiler spoke with someone who has dealt with them and an expert on what to do. Yeah, I've lived here for about seven and a half years and this is the first time I've seen it. And what Kimberly Degna saw? Tussock moth caterpillars, a lot of them. We came outside to the car and tires under, you know, of the cars underneath these trees were just covered with these caterpillars. They're dropping out of the trees. Kimberly is now avoiding the trees, in her case, oaks, a common home for caterpillars. They also like cypress trees. Jimmy Ling, part of an insect research collection at UCF known as the bug closet. Tussock moth caterpillars come once a year triggered by warmer temperatures. It's best to avoid the fur or hair on them. They do have urticating hairs, um, so they are going to be barbed hairs that can be stuck into the skin, and they are venomous. So they aren't, like you said, dangerous, but they can be pretty irritating to the skin. It can be itchy, and it can cause some redness. So what if you do come in contact? Well, luckily, it doesn't last long. Usually the reactions may be like a day or so it's going to last, uh, but you can probably take some tape, and you can stick it to the area that touched the caterpillar or you could run it under cold water. The tape adhesive pulling the tiny hairs out of your skin. In a few weeks they will cocoon, but you still need to be aware as the hairs will still be present. The good news, by May, all of it should be gone. In Bavard County, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.